Hello there and welcome to Farming Simulator 2013 with me, Stocker Gross. How are you? Yes, I know it's been a while, but uh, all good things comes to those who wait. Uh, I've actually forgotten what we're doing and where we're going. Um, I've been mean, cutting that grass. I think you're ready to uh, start harvesting. Turn your beacon on. How dare you? Um, and you've just finished that field. So let's have a look. So that's ready to harvest. Ready to harvest. Uh, that's growing. We've still got these two down here, which I haven't done anything with as of yet. Um, okay. Let's just get you back. Uh, uh, there we go. I can get you back over to the farm. How do I get rid of that? Uh, there we go. Okay, so how are you peeps? Um, I've got to find where the farm is. It's not that side. Ah, I think... It's over here. There we go. It's been a little while. Uh, some of you don't know, I'm uh, in the transition of starting a new job, so um, with that I've got a bit of um, what we call in the UK garden leave. Um, it's called garden leave because basically you're meant to spend um, a few weeks in the garden, chilling out before you start your new job. Um, I've got six weeks off work, so expect videos up every day for six weeks at least. I'm trying to get a couple of videos up a day, actually, because I know how uh, how annoying it is not having any videos, and uh, um, work's been a bit crazy, because I wanted to fin finish off a lot of projects before, obviously, I, I left, so hence the reason why um, there's been no videos. Also, uh, setting up, got to change the domain on the website, uh, set up TeamSpeak, um, you kind of, you name it, I've done it, really, um, so... That's why it's been a bit quiet on the old uh, farming sim front. Um, all right. Well, I think we need to get the trailer sorted. Let's go pick up the trailer. Are we going to use this guy? I guess we can. We can use the Massey. Ready to unload uh, you in. He's doing a great job harvesting. Now, this, this wasn't working last time I went... Yeah, it still isn't working. I've lost the ability to open that gate, unfortunately. Um, which is a bit of a pain, but we have to go through the hedge. <laughs> okay. What have we got in here? I might need to unload that. You see wheat. Okay. Now, I'm not 100% sure how to do this. Uh, hopefully, I can get the course play working. So. Right, we're on the field. Let's straighten up. So. Unload field 10. What field are we on? Have I done all the work? Let's have a look. No, we're on field 12. Let's, just Let's get rid of that. Field 15. Barley cell, canola. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to start a new course. What we need to do is just change, change that. Um, do, do, do. Okay, here we go. So we've got one egg, two egg. And we're at go and load. 
I'm hoping this is right. Uh, thank you for the peeps that um, have been sending me links on other cosplay videos. Much appreciated. I'll, uh, I will get round to. Um oh wow, it's opened. Oh, maybe you need an attachment on the back. I don't, I don't know. Um, I will get round to watching those videos as soon as I can. Stop. We want to choose uh, empty combine and offload to trailer. No, empty combine and offload. That's what we want. We're going to save this as uh, offload. No, empty combine. Empty combine field twelve. Number 12. Okay. That's saved. It said. Uh, can we choose. Choose combine. Yep, we want that one. Okay. Drive behind combine. Seems to be working. Beautiful. Watch it. Watch. Oh. oh. I had, uh, had visions of us um, sort of going into space. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I love it when a plan comes together. So that should work. Uh, what else are we doing? How much money have we got? We got nineteen thousand. Now I need to get the cows sorted. Um, We've done a lot of that. Let's see if we can sell. Uh, what am I thinking? Um, can we sell that? The f okay, I don't think we can sell the fields, can we? I don't know what um, what button to press to sell the fields. I don't want you yet. So that's that's ready to harvest. That's all ready to harvest. That's being harvested now. I guess really. We need. Oh, I like the way the egg is leaving a shadow. Um. We need grass for the cows. That's the important thing at the moment. Let's turn the beacons on. Beacon view. And. I guess we'll continue with the grass cutting. I know it's not very exciting, but unfortunately, it's something uh, that needs to be done. Uh, field position. There we go. Let's get in the cab. And I think that should be cut. Yeah, okay. We're okay, peeps. So it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're cutting some grass for our cows. We've only got one harvester, which is a bit of a pain. We could probably do with another harvester pretty quick. Um, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, I, um, I was using the Bonford cutter before, one of the uh, mods. And uh, people rightly said it. Um, people rightly said it, it was. Um, it wouldn't leave a trail behind because it was. Um, I can't remember the exact words that you guys used, but it, it kind of just basically destroyed the uh, the grass. It wasn't the right thing to use. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to stick with this thing. And to be honest, this thing's alright. Uh, there was a couple of tips that you guys left me in the comments. Uh, I, I will say I do read every single comment that you guys post. Um, I 
really only in, I'm only interested really in, in the nice comments and the informative comments. Some of the uh, some of the bad comments I just tend to ignore. Um, yeah, basically, you're saying about getting one of these cutters, sticking on the front, and then having the picker upper on the back. Uh, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, I might sell this uh, sell this cutter at the shop. Maybe pick that up. I think that sounds like a plan. Although I, I do enjoy using this cutter. It, it kind of looks a bit funky, doesn't it? You know. Um, and grass is a massive part of farming. So this is just as important as um, oh gosh, as actually harvesting. Okay. But you see me do enough of this. So what I'll do is let's turn the mower off. Let's go in the transport position. Let's raise it up. There we go. Uh, have I got a course play to... Um, no, I haven't. Okay, maybe I should make a course play to the... Um, to the shop. Is that going to open for me? Yeah. Ah. Well, I want to sell that. So I'll pause the recording. I'll be back in a minute once I've sold this. Okay, I decided to do the course play, uh, record it to the dealer. So as you can see, we're pulling up right now. Let's slow down. And then if I can get the tractor here by the flappy flags. There we go. So stop. Uh, we want to save that as... Um, to dealer and basically that is going to be dry from start to finish so cool so we've saved that and then we're going to sell this um, attachment Over here, we get a little bit more money if you put it in that box. Uh, R, do you want to sell for nine grand? Yes, we do. Now, what we want to pick up is uh, mods by machine type. Trackers, front loaders, harvesters. We've got some decent harvesters here, but they are quite expensive. Um, obviously, we've got the class Lexion, which I've actually sat in. Yeah, I sat in one of them. <laughs> Oh, there's a video about it. Um, and we've got the case um, Axi Flow. And we've got the case Axi Flow plus Tidu. Um, yeah. Uh, tippers, cultivators, plows, sewing machines, fertilizers, sprayers. Where are I? What am I looking for? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so don't get that because that's. Um, that would just basically destroy the uh, the grass. What you want is one of these front mowers. Um, that's what we want, I think. Or one of them. A tarrup. I'm not quite sure which is the difference between the front... M yeah, I think we're just going to get the front mower. There we go. There's the babby. So uh, let's have a let's have a look around it first. We'll connect it and then we'll have a look around. Turn the beacons on. Okay. Now we probably need to connect the um, yeah the PTO. So we'll attach the PTO. There we go. So this is the uh, the Coverland front mower, the KD240F 
seems to be modded very very well um yeah it's got a, like a hydraulic ram there to lower it and then we've got these things on the sides i think which um flap over you can see the discs underneath lovely so let's uh, turn this on uh, b and you can see the disc spinning yeah that's pretty good isn't it and if we lower is that one no is that one no that one there we go now can i like press the mouse button for additional control oh look at that it moves Okay. Well, I'll be back when we get this back to our uh, our farm. Okay, the peeps, we're back at the farm. Um, I'm just gonna go pick up the uh, the grass picker upper, the forage wagon. Uh, I, I guess you guys can see what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I think I've done this. I don't know if you've watched my agricultural simulator videos, uh, 2011, 2012. You've probably seen me do this uh, a number of times on there, where you just have a front mower and you have your picker upper going behind you. So as you cut it, it picks it up. You get some lovely fresh grass. So this should be the grass one. Uh, is that empty? I think that might be empty. Oh yeah, of course, because we put the empty uh, the grass in the silo, so that's fine. Okay. I did download a mod. Let me show you this mod quickly. Uh, placeable mods. Here we go. The Mishk Station. Now, this uh, placeable st uh, system produces fodder for cows, sheep. The three storage solos with straw, hay, and silage are filled, each with a capacity of 50 tons. In the mixing vessel, the sorts of ratio of 0.4 to 1 to 1 are mixed to the feed. So, yeah. You unload your, your straw, your, um, your silage, and your hay and it automatically mixes it up and then see that spout then that, that's when you just get a trailer and then you can uh, you can feed the cows that way and the sheep apparently so uh, we're definitely going to be buying that one um, 10 ton of feed is the oh, the capacity is 100 tons production 10 oh, okay we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out anyway if it's worthwhile but uh, that's 32 grand so we'll probably get to that next episode but we need to collect, start collecting all the materials. Materials. It's like I'm playing Skyrim. Uh, collecting all the uh, all the harvest for our. Is it harvest? Oh, that's probably the right word for our cows. We might get it done this episode. I don't know. But um, yeah, we've got some straw bales ready. We've got some grass and then we need some hay bales uh, I'm not going to pick all this up first yeah okay so let's lower right, we turn on the forage wagon uh, we turn on the mower we lower it okay Number one. So I'm not going to be cutting anything. We're just going to be picking this up. There we go. That looks quite sexy, doesn't it? You know, as much as a tractor, a trailer, and a mower can do. Be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's hot. <laughs> so yeah, we've been enjoying some really nice weather here in the UK. Um, which it's not making it difficult to uh, record videos, but as you guys can uh, appreciate, you know, sitting in the office uh, making videos when it's uh, 400 million degrees outside, it, uh, it is fairly hot. Okay, it looks like uh, Ewan and Zachary are doing well with the wheat. Um, I might get, uh, I don't know, uh, I'll pluck a name out of the sky at Simon to um, 
Was it Crazy Simon in my uh, Agricultural Simulator 13 video? I think it was Crazy Simon. Or Crazy Cliff. I don't know. Well, we're going to get one of them maybe to uh, start selling the wheat so we can look at getting our mixing station. We might even get it done in this episode. Yeah, let me do that quickly. Right, you two are okay. Chickens. We've only got one chicken. Alright, beacon. I've got one. Ch have I got any trailers have I got? Have I got another trailer? No, I think that's the only trailer I've got. That's no bother. No bother. Have they got spuds or something in the back of that trailer? I need to get rid of. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Oh, great. Um, yeah, this full tractor is really powerful. There we go. Yeah. So we need to get rid of that first. Oh, sugar beet is not accepted. No, of course it isn't. Oh. Oh, uh, and there's those um, bales. They got wrapped around that post when I tried to sell it, so. Now, is that sugar beet or is that spuds? I think that's spuds. Yep. This is sugar beet. So where's wheat? Nope, over the other side. Once we set this up, that we can sell our ware, our uh, our seed straight away. Okay, I see. Course play saved. Wheat sell at mill. Uh, is that it? No, no, no. It's got to be that one. Wheat sell at mill. Drive course. Which way are you going? Okay, something's wrong. Uh. It's probably something really simple and easy that I, I've done. And Sell the wheat at the mill. Okay, so let's reset course, let's clear it, okay. Uh, empty combine. Yeah, it's that one. Nope, you're doing it again. Why aren't you working? Okay, he's going to collect the wheat. It's what we're already full. This is looking promising. As long as he doesn't turn right now, he turns left, goes through the gate, happy days. There we go, loads of wheat. Go through the gate. Good boy. Beacon's on, happy days, Stockholm's happy. There we go. So we can continue with our, uh, let's turn that on. Let's turn that on.
number one speed. Beacon fuel. So, we're harvesting and we're selling and we're cutting grass. So, with this cosplay modlet, we're, we're getting quite. You know, if I had to do all this by hand, you know, it, it just cuts out the. Um, you know, the off screen time, as it were. So. And uh, I'm quite thankful that there's been a lot of people that are saying that, you know, it isn't cheating. Because, um. I was worried that people would think the cosplay mod is uh, is cheating, but it kind of isn't. You know, if you had Ewan and Zachary working for you, um, you, you'd ask him to go down to the mill to sell the wheat, wouldn't you? You know, you wouldn't do it all yourself if you're paying workers to, to work. Okay, here we go. Is this picking it up? Yes. Well, that's working. So we're picking it up as we go. Oh, uh, can't see. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. Um. Yeah, the only thing I was thinking of, with this mixing station... Um, it doesn't ferment it itself, so you still need to ferment the... the grass... and... Um, load it, load the fermented grass into the mixing station. I hope that makes sense. So it's still a little bit of work, it's, it's not completely um, uh, user friendly, you know, you still need to do something. Okay. Well, I appreciate this isn't probably the most exciting thing you're going to see today, but it needs to be done. Uh, we've got builders over the road. Uh, I apologise if you can hear banging, soaring, and that's the trouble. we you know, like not being at work during the uh, during the day. Is that everybody else is at work? And um, let's get in the cab so I can see. There we go. Yeah, and they're trying to make as much noise as possible. Well. Things are ticking over very, very nicely. Like I say, my main goal at the moment is to get the cow production up, but we're working towards that. Uh, we're going to continue harvesting all the fields. And uh, keep selling our seed. This isn't filling up as quick as I, uh, I'd hope, but um, let's try and cut all that down. Is it leaving like gaps along the side? Is it? No. Yeah, it is. I think. Is it picking it up? I don't know. I think this is probably the best front cutter for it. Uh, if you know of a better front cutter, then let me know. It seems to be doing a job. So yes, I've had um, a lot of exciting things are happening at the moment um, with the website trying to uh, put into my 
into my name, take over the website. Uh, big thank you to the fan for looking after it for so long. Um, but uh, it's time I, uh, I, you know, grown up and uh, looked after it myself. So I have never built a website or never done anything like that before, but I'm going to learn um, and hopefully do you guys justice. And uh, thank you for being so patient with me over the last few weeks. Uh, I will more than make it up to you all. Right. How's Ewan and Zachary and Simon doing? They seem to be doing alright. It's all green, which is good. There's no red. Uh, fuel, 87%, 95 90%. That's okay. Yeah, the uh, the dupes is still harvesting, 23% wheat. So it's all going to plan. Uh, people s mentioned I can um, change the settings on the trailer. I know that. Yeah, I can. Uh, if I select the trailer. You can unfold it, and it gives you more capacity. There you go. It basically, it opens the roof. So uh, yeah, I knew about that. And hopefully this will be enough grass to get the fermenting going, at the very least. Um, and then we need to cut some more grass, tether it, and um, and turn them into hay bales. Now for the hay bales, I was actually thinking because what what you guys know what I like to do. I like to have two balers basically one for straw one for hay um, I was actually thinking of using the historical balers for the hay uh, I don't know whether that's going to work as well as I hope but or I might just need to uh, bite the bullet and pay for a uh, a decent baler a hay baler I think I mentioned before that I might get the rain baler um, I don't know. Don't know what I. Don't know how I feel about all that. Come on, you could do it. There we go. Uh, yeah, since I uh, wiped my computer and had to reinstall Windows and put all the games on and everything, the computer's been running a lot better. Uh, I've had no boot up problems, I've had no crashes or hangs, it's been running like a dream, touch wood. So uh, I hope that continues and all my uh, problems are all behind me. I think they've they've actually turned up the uh, fuel usage on this map. So I can't remember ever having to fill up uh, with fuel as much as I have done on this map. Right. So everybody seems okay. Um, the um, Massey Ferguson, the 3080, is currently waiting for wheat in the silage, uh, in, in the silo, I think, uh, before it can sell any more. The harvester has just been unloaded. Now the uh, the dutes or duets. I know you guys are going to trench me for the uh, in the comments about my pronunciation of dutes, dutes, tractors. Um, he looks going to be uh, unloading it fairly soon. Oh no, sorry. The, uh, the Massey Ferguson was the one with the trailer, wasn't it? 
Okay. The Ford is unloading it. But yeah. Okay. I've got it. So what's my dupes doing? I don't think that's doing anything. I think that's just stopped. Yeah. The inspector mod. Inspector gadget. Well. I am going to finish off this field. And uh, when we return, I think in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to get that uh, mixing machine placed. And we're going to uh, hopefully uh, make it easier for us to start um, getting into cow production. And get this dairy farm up and running. But uh, yep, yeah, thank you for watching. I think it's a fairly short episode my apologies for that uh, but uh, don't worry you'll have another video very very soon uh, like I say I'm off work for six weeks and I'll be playing this pretty much every day so hopefully you'll have a video every couple of days of farming sim and uh, I hope you enjoy it so uh, my name is Dr. Gloss this is farming sim 2013 take care and ciao for now Okay, peeps, as I um, ended the episode a little bit early, I thought I'd carry on. I've just uh, finished off that field. You can see, what, 21,790 litres of grass. So I just want to fill this up. Um, where are we? Fill level 23. Th so I think it's over at 11. I think that's what we need. We need 11% peeps out of this. I think we're going to do it. Yep. There we go. Brilliant. Now what we need to do is trample it and then we can cover it. So that's uh, step one of the cow production pretty much complete. Okay. We just gotta compact it. Where are we? Eighty two percent. Come on. Oh, reversing isn't my strongest point. 95, 97, 99. Yep, we can blanket the silo. So, there we go. That's that bit done. Um, I've just noticed there's a massive field actually right next to the cow shed. So, I think we're going to be using that quite a bit. Let's uh, park this trailer up. Don't need the trailer for the time being. We need the mower. But, oh no. With the mower, um, I'm going to get the uh, the rear attachments for it. So it makes cutting that really easy. Uh, let's take, where are we? Here we go. So to go with that, I think... There we go. We're going to use the Tarrup Butterfly Mower. I think that goes on the rear. Uh, along with the front mounted Tarrup is the contractor's choice for fast and efficient mowing. We might need to buy this thing here, you know. It looks exactly the same as, as the Coverland front mower. No. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. Uh, okay. Okay, I think we're waiting to the next episode. So I'll, I'll c carry on. Um, and when we come back, we'll have the we'll go get the uh, the rear attachment for this. Uh, we do that field, and then we think about baling. Uh, we need the hay bales, so we've got the straw bales. We've got the we'll have the fermented um, grass, um, and then we'll have the hay bales. So we should be in a good position really to start the cow production. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Stocker Gloss. Take care and ciao for now.
got 20 acres and you've got four. 